Well, hey, Ed, let's start with Apple. What do we know sure. about this limited number of job cuts? Yeah, so Bloomberg's Mark Gurman is reporting that they are eliminating some roles focused on kind of the leadership and strategy behind store uh, rather than retail store employees themselves. You know, that's according to sources. We're avoiding the word layoff, right? These are strategic cuts, and internally, Apple is billing it as a part of making the store experience better, you know, rather than responding to to macro pressures. But as Guy was alluding to a moment ago, Apple has been under a sort of belt tightening plan since last year, which has included cutting budgets and, and reallocating resources to, to more critical parts of its business. Does that imply that retail is not critical? Again, we don't, what we don't know is the, the number of cuts. We do know some managerial positions are being cut and that Apple are offering some of those roles the opportunity to reapply within the business to other roles. Mm. But to answer your question, um, you know, that's how it's being built, a rethink on the strategy, a realignment on store direction, not the folks in the store themselves, as far as we're aware from the reporting. Hey, Ed, do, is there a macro signal that some are taking from this, or is this just like a bloat rethink signal? Well, look, a Apple certainly, uh, you know, acknowledge headwinds, uh, particularly in regions like China, right? You think about sort of the impact of the second wave of COVID towards the end of last year. The difference, we talked about it on, on the startup very often, is that Apple hired more judiciously than its mega cap tech peers over the pandemic era. Their top line grew, and we use that same measurement. The units of revenue added per new employee, Apple leads the pack in that respect. They didn't add that much headcount, they did grow sales. And so, you know, th that's why there seems to be an emphasis on these are not layoffs, this is part of that belt tightening or at least rethink on strategy internally. Alex wants to ask about HBO. She's Let's do very, it. very interested, <laughs> very interested in what is happening with Harry Potter. Yep. Okay, so Bloomberg's Lucas Shaw and the, the team at Screen Time are reporting that Warner Brothers is in talks with J.K. Rowling for a Harry Potter television series. Seven books, one book per season, according to sources. The deal is not done, and J.K. Rowling still needs some convincing. But it's part of a bigger strategy that David Zaslav and Warner Brothers, according to our reporting, are going to announce next week. I, every year, I watch all of the films in one week-long sitting around December time. I'm also mm -hmm. deep into playing Hogwarts Legacy on PlayStation <laughs> right now. You can see where they're going with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm with you.